Hey there, and welcome back to my series of videos about the Apprentice S15e. This video is about taking off or takeoffs in the simulator, and spliced in will be video clips of the real aircraft taking off for comparison. Taking off in the sim does not simulate the real aircraft, as you're about to see. But there's a lot to learn from sim takeoffs, like what you do not want to do. And uh, in the sim, I can dem demonstrate things that I've seen students do that are wrong and still not damage the aircraft. I can also simulate wind conditions better than uh, real flying. So from here forward, all sim videos will be in experience mode. Why? It's because the goal is to be able to fly with confidence in experience mode in the simulator so that, that uh, when you fly the real airplane in experience mode, you'll be more comfortable and you can qualify as a pilot. The club I instruct at has a rule that to be qualified as an RFC pilot, you cannot use safe modes other than experience. Beginner and intermediate modes teach bad habits, mostly about how the ailerons work. And most likely, the next aircraft you buy will not have safe technology. The sim is the best way to learn from your mistakes without risking a crash of your aircraft. The sim is a great tool to learn how to react to the aircraft without thinking about what you're doing. This is what an experienced pilot does. The sim can also teach you to be ahead of the aircraft. That's where you're projecting where the aircraft will be in two seconds and making sure where it will be is where you want it to be. I actually look ahead of the aircraft while flying to pick a landmark of where, where I want to do my next turn or any other maneuver. Finally, the sim is also a good place to learn how to fly one maneuver, like landing, while thinking about what you're going to do after the touch and go. That's called planning ahead while in the air. So in this video clip, we're going to demonstrate a takeoff. The uh, throttle is idle. The uh, uh, elevator trim is back like we usually have it. And the throttle is back. Uh, I want you to notice how slowly it takes off as compared to what uh, the real airplane does. So here we go. Sticks all the way back, now it's up, and I'm going to pull it, the, the throttle back and uh, get to level flight, start a turn, and that's a good takeoff. Checks, arm the throttle, and uh, check it. And uh, because of the winds, I'm going to use probably 100% power, so it's going to take off rather quickly. And then I'll pull the power back once I get in the air back to my normal 50% setting. So here we go. Okay. So in this clip, I'm going to show you different techniques uh, for using the elevator while taking off. I'm using, since I'm using the DXE radio, I can set the elevator trim back up to its normal position. And you can see here that the um, uh, stick is now in the middle of the elevator. So um, the first technique I'm going to show you is uh, with the stick all the way back before you start the throttle. So here we go. Still a long takeoff roll in the sim, but then you ease the, the stick off as you pull the throttle back and you start your turn. Okay, uh, let me reset the model. Uh, so that's the stick all the way back. Now I'm going to show you the difference with the stick, uh, the elevator neutral, and s just and never pull it back. So watch this. It'll take off, um, but very <laughs> take a very long time to take off. You don't want to do it that way. So somewhere between 
Stick fullback and neutral is about halfway back, which is sometimes uh, harder to find, but it's a little smoother takeoff. So here we go. All right. You notice that the aircraft is turning a little bit. So what I'm going to do to counteract that is is get it rolling a little bit, move it, um, and then stop so that the aircraft is actually pointing slightly away from the edge of the runway uh, to the, toward the far edge of the runway and we'll do that again. So I'm going to do about a half uh, elevator back, put the power in, takes off and I release the elevator. Okay, pull the power back. Okay, so my uh, let me roll up and turn a little bit here. So my preference, my technique that I like the best is all the way back. Um, it gets you in the air quicker, which is uh, a safety factor in that you're not uh, on the ground. Taking off is the most, probably the most dangerous. Uh, some people say it's second most dangerous to landing, but I think it's the most dangerous. And so I'm going to start with the stick all the way back. Put in 100% power, get her in the air as soon as I can, release the elevator, and pull back on the stick. Okay. And so the the um, the difference about half half back and full back is about controlling the airplane. Uh, you should have enough um, uh, experience to be able to. Take it all the way back, especially if there's winds. Put it into 100% and take off. Okay. Now remember, if you do that in the real airplane, it's going to take off much quicker, which is as you've seen from the previous uh, clip. Okay.